So guys, I'm going to be talking about motion capture with Quick Magic AI. Anyway, this is not my first time talking about Quick Magic, but there is a mistake I've been making while using Quick Magic, which is the um, fingers not animating, something like what you can see in this video on my screen. So, but now I've figured out a way to fix it because I contacted uh, Quick Magic about this issue and they told me that I was the one making a mistake. So that is what I'm going to show you in this particular tutorial video. So don't forget to click on the subscribe button. So let's go to Quick Magic AI. So uh, I'll go to my browser. Uh, anyways, sorry, this particular character you are seeing on your screen was gotten from Mixamo. But let's go back to quickmagic.ai. So this is quickmagic.ai. I'll drop the link in the description box if you want to visit the website. Also, um, you can also check their upgrade plan. Because what I'm about to do, you won't be able to do it on the freemium you get. You can only do it on the starter plan, which is $10 and I think it's affordable. You get what I'm trying to say. So the link will be in the description box so that you can purchase your own Vcoin. So let me go back. Uh, let me just go back. So as you can see, I have 576 V coin. So I'm going to go to AI mocap. Also make sure that you already have the video you want to motion capture with. So I'm going to select import a video file. So this is the video I'll be using. The video is on my download here and I'll select open. So let's wait for it to analyze. So when quick magic has analyzed the video, the next thing I'll do is to drag this mixer mode. The other format there we have the only face, anime, CC, C4D, VMD, BIP, you get, but I'll be using Mixamo, which is the common one. And I think this is one suitable for this retargeting I want to do. So I'll just drag this Mixamo into the video and then I'll select next. Now this is where the mistake comes in. So just make sure that after the full body also select and. If you don't select and you have that um, unanimated finger or the finger will not be animated in the final result. You get what I'm trying to say? So that is the issue or that is the mistake I made when creating the first tutorial about um, Quick Magic AI. Then you can change the name or just leave it as download one. Let me just change it to girl. Then I'll select generate now. So as you can see, it says it's going to take about eight minutes upgrading and speeding up. So let's wait for eight minutes, which I'll skip that part. And this other video I've done mocap with on Quick Magic AI. So I think you should also start purchasing their V coin and start doing your mocap on this website. So our mocap is ready. As you can see, this is the second time I'm doing this again. So let me just select this. Yeah. So let's wait for it again to load. Oh now it's ready. Can you see this? So we have this. So let's retarget this on Blender. So I'm going to select download. You can see it by the edge here, bottom edge. Just select download. So I'll unzip the file. Let me go to my download. Yeah. And do some unzipping. Let me reload this. So I'm going to have it here. I'm going to copy this and I'll paste this outside my download. So we are going to be using Rococo um, plugin or add-on to retarget. And I'm sure you are aware about Rococo. It's a very popular add-on for retargeting apart from Auto Read Pro and others. So let me bring my end panel out. End panel and um, let's be, yeah, this is Rococo. Uh, okay. So let me select file. Let me select import. I'm going to select um, FBX. So I'll go to my download here. Yeah. And we have the CZ girl, Mixamo and FPX. So, so now we have this. I can just move it to the left or right. Anyone? Yeah. So let's retarget this. Uh, let me just increase this to like uh, 750. Yes. So this is the Rococo Studio Life. Then you select retargeting. The source file is the animated uh, um, character. Make sure you select the bone. So you use the eyedropper tool to select the bone. And use the eyedropper tool to select this uh, bone here. And there's something you should note. The two characters or both characters are on t -pose. So the one that is animated, the rest pose is um, t -pose. So when I select the bone, come in and uh, select this. 
rest post is t post take note of that if your character rest post is not t post you won't get a good result when retargeting but follow my next tutorial video i'll be explaining how you can fix issues like that with an add-on too so um this one also the rest post is also t post can you see so let me go back to post position we are good to go so the next thing i'll do is to build bone list so we are done with building bone list yeah rest and just retarget so there is a duplicate bone please each target bone only make them right left shoulder and make them the right shoulder so we need to locate the bone say left shoulder and right shoulder so let me see this left shoulder left arm left forearm so we have this and uh, let me see this left arm make them more um, left arm yes uh, where is the right let's look for the right also Hmm, right arm. Trying to look for the right. Sorry. So where is the right arm? Yeah, set it to this. And I think we should have a good result. The target animation. So let's wait for it to finish retargeting. So now we have this. So I need to separate it. So let me just select this. Um uh, sorry, hold on shift. Select this and select this select hold on shift select this yep and gx to the side so let me start from the beginning so we are going to have this result can you see so so the rest might just need um mocap cleaning up i'm working on that so in my future tutorial or uh, in my later tutorials i'll be talking about how you can clean your motion capture better So thank you for watching this tutorial video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to get more videos.